Hello everyone, I hope everyone's doing okay. So we're back for an instalment tour of the house tour. Today we're going to be looking around the kitchen. So I'm currently sat in like the dining area. If you hear any weird noises, it's because Binksy started playing with a piece of pasta. Found that it was like a really good toy on our like kitchen floor and it just like she backed it around. So you might hear snippets of a very weird noise. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys our kitchen. We're, we've decorated a lot of it. We haven't completely finished. But it was a really nice kitchen anyway to start with. So we haven't, I'll, tell, I'll show you what we've done. So, cat food, wood surround, which we want to paint pink. We've got the shiny mirror, um, which was 20 quid of marketplace and we put in the edges black. Then we've got this table, like four person dining table, which is quite new. And I think I don't know if I mentioned it before. So it used to be there. We kind of move it depending. It's been like this since Christmas because we had it for Christmas. Also extends out to like here-ish so that you can have six people along it, which is really nice, which is why we bought it for Christmas. And then we have these grey blinds that came with the house and they're on both windows. So that's really nice when we got those, it just deals with it. You can see the masking tape in the corners because we've painted this white, so all of this was cream, which you'll see in the pictures. So it, it made it a lot darker, not more than you think, but it just did. So <laughs> it's really nice painting it white. It feels really fresh in here. Table for force, really nice table from Ikea. I'll link it. And then you come round and we've got it kind of, let me come round this way. So this is the sample that I put it on my Instagram story the other day. This is the sample that we're using from Lick Paint. It's much nicer than the other one. It's like a matte one. It just seems like the right color of pink so that it doesn't reflect too much. It, it kind of, not too in your face, just a really nice hue. To be honest, I really like, I do like the grey, but I want colour throughout the house. I want it to be like poppy and exciting. So pink, just, I really like pink. We haven't got it anywhere else in the house. So we're going to be going for like black, white and pink, which I feel like would match quite well. We've got wood tops and white. They're kind of white. I don't know if they're more cream because when you look at that one, it, it, you can see the colour difference. So we've got a fruit bowl, we've got the kettle and our toaster and microwave match and I'll link them below and we got them as housewarming presents for me, which is really nice and then we've got these uh, bamboo chopping balls from Wilco we've got a money plant and we've got a little soap dish which was my well is my grandma's and then in here we have like our mugs and stuff because of the kettle and then that one is a dishwasher and we've got like lunch boxes and all those kind of cooking things in there we have cutlery big cutlery and tupperwares and stuff bits one of those drawers. <laughs> Cleaning stuff's under the sink and all of our bags for life. That corner we have all of our pots and pans. And then we have this really big range master oven. So it's really nice because it's two doors, it's two separate things. The only thing is that the tiles are still going to be grey. So I don't think it'll make much of a difference like black, white, grey and pink. I mean they're all kind of, you know, the black, white, grey are on one spectrum sort of thing. And then the pinks on the side, like feature colour. So it might work and then we'll have all our plates and stuff in here and tea towels and napkins. So this used to be a giant cupboard that went all the way around and our fridge freezer was in the middle and it was a giant American fridge freezer. Neither of us really liked it and it was big and black and it was nice but it came out really far into this bit and that's the door to utility. So when you kind of walk through, it really stick out and it just made it uh, like a bit uncomfortable. It just didn't flow. I've got the paint there ready for when we do paint, so I've committed now. This whole unit is from Ikea, it's the Calax unit. We just figured out one day that it would probably be nicer for us in terms of the storage and how much there was around here. We didn't use it all anyway and they were really deep. It wasn't very practical, I guess. We found that having a, this kind of a thing was better. The doors were quite expensive. I think the black ones, I got four black ones in the end because they were like 10 quid. And I think the white ones, they're like, all of it, it's like hard, shiny plastic, which I, I just liked. Figured it would match these a lot more having a similar kind of style. These were more like 15 pounds. And then these little doorknob things were from Primark actually in Birmingham for like one pound 50 for two, which is great. Otherwise they come with like tiny little, like a little metal ones. And then we got a soda stream from Mark's sister for Christmas, which is really nice. Um, which apparently now lives here <laughs> from Mark. <laughs> so, and that's our, where well, we have our recycling bag. So yeah, it's, it's a really nice kitchen and the floors are like this gray kind of stuff. I think that's something that we might replace at some point. It is quite a nice floor, it's not that bad, but it just shows like marks really easily. So yeah, that is our kitchen. I'll try and tag everything I can that I can find. But once the playlist is complete, this will be like an actual proper house tour. It's just that I figured how much I talk through stuff is gonna make more sense if we have, then you can watch it as like a whole video by watching the little videos in the playlist. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and comment what you think. And please like, please comment, please subscribe and I will see you next week for my next video.